Hello again, everybody, and welcome to uh, some late night model trains with My Life Tracks. Yes, it's uh, 11 20 p.m. on a Monday, but uh, I'm excited to show you this new stuff I just got it's from Otter Valley Railroad up in Canada. And, uh, and on my receipt, they sent me this really nice note. Thanks, guys. They're super nice up there. And I got an otter, a Christmas otter sticker. So what I got here is they're making two new loads. Now, if you remember, I showed you the original load, which is like a plaster Paris material. You know, it's quite hefty. And a lot of people said, ah, it's too heavy, blah, blah, blah. I kind of dug it, though, but that's just me. So the new ones are made on foam. So these things are really light. And uh, so I got the trash load here and the construction load. And I opened it up so you don't have to watch me, you know, crinkle a bag. But uh, let's just take the construction load out. And there we go. All kinds of stuff. And the netting. And then we have the trash load. And like I said, these are handmade, so everyone is different. So if you have a whole fleet of these and you buy a bunch of these loads, uh, they won't be identical. You know, similar, but not identical. So let's take one of the... Uh, I'll show you these two cars. These are 6,400 cubic feet. And in the back, I got the 6,000. And the only really difference between the two, lengthwise, they're... Pretty, it's about the same. The difference is height. If you look at, if I can look together, the black one's a little shorter than the gray. But let's take our, uh, which one is this? Tra oh, this is a scrap load, right? Or construction load, excuse me. And we'll slide her in there. I don't know if you have to do a little finagling. Making some crunchy noises. Oh, there we go. And there is the load. Usually don't fill them, uh, when I've seen them anyways, go by up north on the CSX line. You see a little bit of pieces sticking up. And I've seen, actually, you know, the netting's ripped and pieces flapping in the wind. And actually, uh, I've seen pieces fly out of these things. Not, not a ton of stuff, but obviously it's, you know, some loose material. And then we have our trash load and uh let's put in the black ovr trains cool piece huh and uh let me see here make sure i get the netting down in that down. Oh. Yeah, you got a little finagling with these, but that's cool. And there is your, uh, I keep forgetting, trash load. Jeez. Hey, it's, it's late, all right? <laughs> so very nice. And you know, like I said, the car weight stays the same. These are nicely weighted, just empty. So, uh, let me take the original load, put it in this special Izzy car. And we can get a little closer. I move the tripod. And you can see the little difference in the loads. Kind of similar, but these are, like I said, these are casted. And these are like, a, uh, I assume like a loose material that's been uh, glued onto the foam. Or wait a minute, I'm pointing the wrong ones. These are the loose ones, or loose loads on the foam. Jeez, it is getting late, isn't it? I gotta work tomorrow. I gotta be up in uh, five hours. So, yeah, these are really nice. Like I said, handmade. Everyone's individual. So, uh, as always, let's put these up on the track and uh, watch them go by.
Okay, the first two cars will have the new lightweight loads, also known as version two. And then the third and fourth car will have the original heavier load. So I hope you enjoy this quick look at these new loads by Otter Valley Railroad. And uh, we'll take one more close-up look at these. You can see the edge. And like I said, handmade. They're to be similar, but they're all going to be different. This is your uh, trash load. And they do look like that when you see them go by. The only thing these lack is, the, usually the trash ones have a little bit of funk to them when they go by, but you know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'll leave a link in the description if you'd like to get these yourself. They're $15.99 Canadian, so it's probably a little less the U.S. I didn't check the exchange rate. And, uh, you know, you have no problem having a long train of these. Like if you have like 80 plus cars, like in real world. I still like the old ones with the heavy loads. I don't know. It's just like, uh, it gives you a challenge. You know, it's like major weight you got to haul. So... But also keep in mind, uh, Otter Valley's got two new train cars coming out. And uh, the ingot bulkhead flat car with load. So these are going to be cool. I ordered a, a gray one, pre-ordered one. And they're also doing this uh, really nice caboose. And I, I assume this is just up in Canada, this caboose, but I don't care. I like it. I, I pre-ordered the test one. And uh, the Point Saint, is it Carl's Shop? I probably said that wrong. I apologize. But, uh, yeah, check these out on their website. And, uh, no, I'm not getting paid to do this. I just think they make a great model trains. And Lauren and the group up there that run Otter Valley Railroad are just really nice people. I got to hang out with Amherst train show. Had a blast joking around with them. So, all right, guys, you know the deal. Where you see me, you're probably going to see trains. Uh, assuming I'm awake. <laughs>